And here come the Glacier Kings. He's got some numbers. Here's the trailer. DeLuca with a shot. And a glove saved. And more extra stuff after the whistle. You can see this coming. Just going to see uh, if the Buccaneers have switched goaltenders. There could be suspensions out of this. The guys need to settle down. You don't want to get suspended in the final exhibition game. You don't want to miss your season opener. So these guys have got to... It's an exhibition game, but, you know, kudos to them. They're taking this exhibition game pretty darn seriously. Number 28, Tyler Olek, breaking that play up. And now Kellen Bates with a big chop there. And Campbell is in to help out his teammate now. All kinds of traffic there. As they, we have four players down on the ice as Bates did not like something that happened there. He did get the chop in we'll see what happens here as they all mix it up but still trying to get those two players separated in fact the referee is in there helping out as well he's telling the rest of the teams to get back as linesman escorting one of the Islander players to the box Jacob Winfield and now he goes back to help out his official partner there and they're still unable to get these two separated Bates just furious on that play and he's got the crack of player I think that's Olek on the ice do you believe this is preseason hockey but it's junior hockey and the Predators are in a little bit of cruise control here here's a little wall with a wrister there and glove down safely and no need for pushing and shoving in a 5 nothing lead. Boy, I don't like seeing this. Man, oh man. That's just a dog pile that breaks out to the right side of Fesser. And down goes the net mind. Is that the goalie? Indeed, it's Fesser who mixed up with Erickson. And what's going on? We're throwing punches here. Holy smokes. I don't know what is going on there. That looks like Tokic. Indeed. Yes, he got hit over center. Lost the puck. Then the Bombers turn the puck over. A couple guys go down. Penalty coming. And the rough stuff's going to continue. Brent McLean getting mixed up in it with Nathan Bouvier. And as this building erupts, I have a feeling that we're going to be in for another lengthy stoppage in play. So once it quiets down in here, I'll bring you the out-of-town scoreboard in the, surely, the five minutes we're going to have for them to sort all this out. Three and three on the season. Meanwhile, the Cary Park Islanders drop their fourth in a row by a score of 7-1 here tonight. And the punches are coming. as we're gonna try and get everybody split up. That was Kyver Brugge on the bottom of that. As Sandberg came over in defense of Verbrugge. And now Matt Collette has Easton Sandberg in a complete headlock, completely unnecessary but pulls him off that pile, but he held him in that headlock for far too long, as now they're gonna try and split up these other two guys, and I think we're just gonna go into the post-game show here. You guys don't need the, the commentary on that. And number six, Caden Copeland, uh, taking swings there. Of course, both with the masks on and everything, but Two Storm players connect together and just couldn't get the shot off. And Glacier Kings will try Frank, to get we it. Fight. Clay Beekman. And Mills. Matson up 
for Moreau. It was in his feet. And a solid check as Pavetta puts oh, McKinnon. And, he just got hit and then the head Tupper just went. Tupper and. Well, that's dumb. Yeah. I think that needs to be. That needs to be a five. Wasn't engaging. Now looking down the other way as Hickok has. All tied up there with Wingfield, it looks like. And on goal, takes a shot deflected in front over top of the net. West Sabres get pounded. This is crazy. Here we go. Number 10, Mason Windsor just pounding on West Haver. And Ryan's being taken down by Easton. Off to the side, West Haver's taking a hit. He's got his man, they're going at it. Number 20, Wyatt Arts. Going to be a lot of penalties here. Ty Easton being restrained by the linesman. Wolf, got, Wolf players got uh, wrong box, boys. West Haver's really shaken up there. Rower, three on one. Left side, Comiskey, right side, shot. Hadar with a huge save. Oh, and then a body slam. This is ridiculous. Absolutely disgusting play from the West Shore Wolves. Of course, they're cheering it on. No discipline on the bench. Zito. Little give and go, and Wolf Burt went hard at him, and they went hard at each other off the puck. Burt wants more. Gloves are coming off from both these guys. Helmets are still on. Gloves are off. Tom's trying to get the bucket off of Esposito. They're definitely going. Cage rage. Trying to get the helmet off is Tanner Burt. Lines are stepping in as they finally remove their helmets. Why now? Burt got one left in. Esposito's down. I don't understand jumping in when the helmet finally came off as opposed to just stopping it before it even started. At any length. Wide off the mark for Toomer, but Montgomery Parsons finds it. Norby played him well with a good body check. Palmer got hauled down by Montgomery Parsons. And Erickson is on top of him. Now he's being challenged as Bowser didn't like what was happening to Austin Montgomery Parsons. And I don't blame him for standing up and defending his teammate there, Chase. That was a little bit of holding from uh, Montgomery there on Grayson Erickson when he was trying to get around him. I don't know. We're yeah, and then pulled him the down. There, but oh, I definitely saw I don't that. I think he's innocent there. Whoa, and now Montgomery Parsons, well after the whistle, went after Helmetti. Oh, here we go. And there's a bomber under the pile. Helmetti's still getting into it. And now the officials have their work cut out for him. I didn't see what happened that. Saw Montgomery Parsons so late said go after something. the bomber bench. Said something. Think Maybe. Ross on the right wing side. Each side of the offensive zone. Quick shot, Reganato with the save. And then Ross collides hard along the end boards. Now we're going to get some pushing and shoving. And the referee is very vocal right now. What's going on? And Wyatt's trying to get up. His helmet's off. Still going at it. Schwartz is in there as well, too. And now Schwartz and Wyatt, they're going to go at it. Nolan Wyatt and Schwartz. A wrestling match there. And Wyatt's on top of Schwartz right now. The Beach Cafe, proud sponsors of the Oceanside Generals hockey team. This is Generals play-by-play. 
on 88.5 The Beach. Welcome back live here. Oh my goodness, coming back from commercial break. A crazy hit from behind. And now Ty Easton is on top of Leary punching him. Klippenstein was crushed against the boards right from behind. And the dirty stuff continues here at the Howie Meeker Arena. Storm will get the player, one player back. Side of the net trying to center it to Webb. And Peters gets it. And a little extra work. And... Okay, there's going to be... I just see... Guys, come on. Loses the puck. Now a shot by Gorzelnik right on. Save made, and now there's here we go. Got some pushing and shoving now, and some punches being thrown. And there's gonna be some penalties here. Bounced off his stick, will go into the corner. Centering pass. Johnson oh, with a save. Strange with a second opportunity. Johnson just with wide. two saves. Now Roworth and Strom going at it. The captains, Strom just sucker punched Roworth. That's because uh, Roworth, he, he hit him pretty good in the boards, but it, he had the puck. It's a legal hit. Fires that one. Yeah, it looks like he was going wide, and it's going to be covered off, and now... Some pushing and shoving, and two predators have run into each other. And Nolan Wyatt now is all tied up with a predators player along the end boards. As the officials are going to go in and separate them, not sure who the predators player is. As they get separated, and now Colton Thompson is in a conversation with Matthew Hutchinson. I'm not sure who that Predators player is. It could be Taylor Webb. As they're continuing to push and shove. And now Nolan Wyatt's trying to break free. It is Taylor Webb. And punches are being thrown here as two officials who try to break them up, and now they do. Time gets it to the point. Brendelin was calling for the shot, and it's into the glove of Darian Fesser, and there's traffic in front, and there was an extra poke at the puck, at the, and the goaltender by Braden Ross. Braden Ross took a shot at the goaltender, and now the Buccaneers are hot. And now there's a Buccaneer down on the ice that's been hammered, and things are getting out of control, and I told you that this might possibly happen. Justin Petra getting up slowly, Someone knocked off Fesser's helmet in the foray, but I can tell you that that was definitely Braden Ross that kick-started this whole thing. ...but has kept alive and sent in deep by Tanner Nyland. Nyland, now he's going to head into the corner and challenge for the puck. Tyler Smith has it and sends it out to the blue line, and now we've got a stop, and there's a scrap in the corner, and I can tell you, I don't know which Buccaneer it is, but it just... It, that's Evan Vars Varsahili, and the Pitt Meadow native has his helmet off. It must have got pulled off in the fracas. And now Webb feeding Thompson on the left side, but Thompson just couldn't get it to fall for him. And now Hildebrand behind his own net will swing it up the wall. Klein Beekman, the player was bumped in front. William Jenkins, we got a penalty here against the Predators. And they're going to punch. They're going to go trying to get the helmet off. It's Webb. <laughs> Webb was trying to... Get the dance card going with Parker Jorgensen, but Jorgensen having none of it. Uh, that uh, oh, this is a really hard work in front of the net. Two players going at it. That's Frank and McIsaac. And we got some rough stuff in the far corner. Just when I say these two teams don't do that, and you got punches. McIsaac throwing punches. Dumont goes in there. I think McIsaac was going after Frank, and there's punches being thrown left, right, and center. Just as I say, these two teams don't do this.
There's going to be suspensions out of this one. They're still going at it. This is crazy. This is crazy. And it's pointless. It is. <laughs> Steve Brown just saying, come on, guys, clear out. Steve Brown, uh, no stranger to the rough stuff when he played. Botslitchen. Now one of the Bucks gets decked to the ice there. I believe that was Tyson Tupper. And now he's, or pardon me, it's Kenneth Boychuk. And they're into it in front of the goal. We've got a bit of a scuffle going here as Kenneth Boychuk being reached around from the back there. He took exception, exception to that hit in front of his, in front of the goaltender. And now he's down on the ice in an, at an awkward position. And the linesman having a tough time separating these two. Goes against the Predators. Now we got a tussle down in the corner. Don't know if the Predators want to see Anthony Wilson down inside there anymore. Across the blue line, takes a shot high of the net. Eddie. Submarine his man. He didn't have nowhere to go. He's just trying to avoid the check. And now he's getting his face punched by a Predator player. The linesman has to step in. Linesman down. The Predators player is still swinging at Aiden Eddy. The referee wants the players to clear the zone. Not too sure why the Kraken player would get this penalty unless he's getting called for that check. He's knocked off the puck. And they're still going after Roworth. Roworth just got hit in the head way back from the play. It'd be nice if the camera would get in on it. Now we got players going out on the other side of the ice. The linesmen are down the left side. Tried to center it to Thomas. Hard hit along the boards, and we're going to get some a penalty coming up here and some rough stuff. Jacob Thomas with the hit, and Thomas in a battle right now. He was being punched in the back of the head. Now he's trying to defend himself, and we got more pushing and shoving in the corner. Is that's Brady Van Herc, who was picked up by Bates as they continue to draw back and forth. And Bates has thrown his gloves, and now he's dancing around looking for a fight. The yeah, penalty box now, and here's Wyatt. He was serving the penalty. Made a move. And coming through was Bates, and then Klippenstein came over to him. As Wyatt was kind of down low, Bates came and just ran over him there, and then Klippenstein came over to... Now some words with Bates, some punches look like they were throwing. But good job by Alchin this time. And now Pecor and Ulchin go at it. And now Luke's trying to get there, and this is what the Glacier Kings cannot afford to do right now. And we got a scrum going here. Bosher into it with Lokes now. Nesbitt is hot right now. Korzelnik from his knees gets it to the side of the net. 
Schwartz tries to center it in front. That's not going to work. And now we got a fight. It's Monroe as he started punching one of the Glacier Kings. I can't see who it was. He just started swinging. And it's Zach Schwartz. to go here. Leary's going to pick it up. It's center and the buzzer's going to go. Leary walks in and he tried a shot there and now he's going to get some attention as Sandberg is jumped on Leary. O'Brien's going to try to go in there and help out his teammate and now Bulltack, he comes out of the penalty box and he's in there as well too. The referees are doing a great job though of trying to split everyone up and this has been a wild night and a wild finish as the Oceanside Generals come away with a victory here in game number three. A 3-1 score. And now Boltaki, he's got to watch what he's doing. Now he's trying to fight the linesman. He's pushed the linesman twice. What is he doing? Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? He just pushed the linesman twice, folks. If that does not warrant a major suspension, I don't know what does. Cross into the far wall, it'll go. Westhaver battling away for it into the corner. Groom, he falls on his own accord. Hand went up in the air. Look out, turning, firing right in front. They shoot and score. The series is over, and the Oceanside Generals are victorious tonight. They are VIJHL champions. And they win in overtime in game six, and the series is over. Well done to the Oceanside Generals. They score in overtime, and they win it all.